In Infinite Warfare, and Call of Duty in general, winning gunfights is key to being a good player and getting a lot of kills. Because of that fact, people don't always think about the flip side, losing gunfights. And I don't mean going out and trying to lose gunfights, I mean specifically thinking about what happens and why you lost a certain gunfight, so you can try to minimize the time that it happens, and thus die less. It's the same thing with KD ratio. People always see it as trying to get more kills, but it's just as important to die less. And from a mathematical standpoint, if you have a KD above a 1, it's actually more important to die fewer times than it is to get more kills in order to raise your KD. But anyways, in this video I want to show you guys a couple of examples of some losing gunfights that I get into, and I want to talk about how I know that I'm in that losing gunfight, how I know that I'm at a disadvantage, and why I decide to run away. So in the first clip here, I'm using an SMG on Frost. I see the first guy and he gets away, but I also see the second guy in the background. And I mean, he's pretty far away, and he's got a solid piece of cover to his left. So I know that when he starts shooting, he'll most likely strafe behind that cover, making him a much harder target to hit. On top of that, I'm using an SMG, namely the FHR, which has terrible range and terrible kick. So the odds are very low that I'm going to be able to kill this person at that range, and because he's in a good position, I will most likely die if I try to shoot him. Also, I would have plenty of cover behind me if I wanted to run away, so my chances of surviving if I decided to run away are pretty good. So when weighing all those factors, the obvious choice is to run him. And when I sit down and think about it like that, it makes a lot of sense. But when you're in the heat of the game and everything's moving so fast and happening so fast, it can be hard to recognize this. And it almost feels that like once you start shooting at someone, or once you see someone, you have to keep shooting at them until either you die or they die. So you gotta think about these things and work on them when you play to get out of that kind of habit. Because I know it happens to me a lot too, and you just gotta really think about it and think through everything before it happens. On the second clip here, I start shooting at two guys down the field, and I'm using an NV4, which is great for long range engagements, and I'm set up well behind some cover. And at first, they don't see me and they aren't shooting at me. But after I miss those first few shots, they both start to realize they're being shot at, they look in my direction, shoot me, and start getting behind some cover that they have around them. And thinking about the opportunity of running, there's tons of cover behind me, and I know for sure that if I run, they won't have any lines of sight on me, so I most definitely will be able to get away. And again, weighing those factors, the best option is clearly to run away. But this is much harder to run from than the previous one, because at first I had it really good. I was set up well, I had a good gun, and they both didn't see me, so I had the drop on them. But I messed it up, I missed those first few shots, and again, it's very hard to run from that kind of situation, because you had the advantage at first, but then I messed up and I lost it. So you just gotta be able to recognize when you do lose it, and that it makes more sense to run so that you can stay alive longer. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today, a quick video on the importance of running from gunfights and identifying when you should be running from gunfights because that's something that's hard to do and hard to get out of the habit of because a lot of the time you just get into gunfights and don't really think it through. And if you guys want more tips on gunfights, I actually posted a video a little while ago about winning more gunfights by getting into the right ones by playing smarter. So I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Hit that like button for me and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.